guess what? The sky isn't red and terrible anymore. Hooray. Yeah, a few days ago, a ton of rain came through here and set the salmon up going through rivers. Maybe next week's video, I don't know. Yeah, but it cleared up all the smoke and today I'm feeling like filming a video. Oh no, the bird bass. Oh man, over up to the pickleball court covered in moss, which is actually gonna play a crucial part in today's video. Because I'm gathering moss off this thing for around the pond to make it look nice. Just like that. Now we go up the trail. There is the pond. You can actually see, I've already done a little work on it. But we're in the forest right now. Pretty cool. Yeah, I just wanted to restore the pond and make it look a little better. So in this video, we're gonna do that. Over there, the moss is starting to grow. It's looking pretty good. The whole pond's coming together. So I'm just putting in some dirt, getting some moss, just trying to get rid of the pond liner feel. I really like the look of this. There aren't enough rocks. There's some spots like this that I'd like to fix. And there's, there's just a lot of stuff I'd like to fix. And then maybe later in the video, we'll put in some new fish, set up some fish structure, and all around just revamp the pond, I guess. But the little goldfish are mainly for uh, just mosquito control until we can get some better fish to stock in here. But I haven't really done much work on it because I just haven't had time. But now that I'm doing this YouTube thing, I was thinking maybe I could film it. All right, first thing we're gonna do, grab some of this moss we collected up earlier and sprinkle it on some of the spots that we would like some moss. Yeah, you can see I put in this nice dirt wall here with some bark just to kind of flatten it out, make it look a little nicer. But the rest of the bank needs a lot of work. First thing we're gonna need to do, get rid of this little bucket. When I dug out the pond, I put all the dirt right here. That's why there's such a steep bank. So I have to get the dirt from up here and move it down and smooth out the edges and build up that bank a little bit so that it can hold more water and it looks nicer. A good thing to use on a steep bank is bark because it holds up the dirt quite well and so that you can layer about a half inch dirt that the moss can cover. The part that really needs dirt is back here because the water washing down this way has completely revealed the pipe. But I'm gonna have to bury it again with dirt from over there. About a half hour of hard work later, the hill is about two inches shorter, and over here, you can't even see any tarp or a hose. I even filled in over here, but I wasn't able to get to the water's edge because I didn't want to put too much dirt near the water and muddy it up even more than it is. It's looking pretty good. Next, I'm gonna work on this part, this part, and all these little flaps sticking up and filling in rocks right in here. Hey, look at that. Got most done except for right there. It's really hard to get dirt there without it sliding off. But all over here, no more folds. And I even built up the bank around this thing. But I still wasn't able to figure out how to get through here without using bark. Yeah, my my GoPro died and uh, that I was filming the video on, and I didn't realize it. So a little bit of pond footage is gone. I realized it after. GoPro's charged up now. Since the GoPro's charged up, let's head out and grab some fish. We have now arrived to my second favorite store in the world because there are so many fish here and there's lots of just fun stuff. And let's see what's inside. Wow, look at all these ponds. There's fish in them. Yeah, look at that. I think those are koi. Yeah, I think they sell aquatic plants here as well. We might buy some of those for the pond as well, but fun stuff. Any fish in this one? Yeah, some little koi. Let's go inside. This place is so much fun.
Wow, look at those. Those are really cool. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the fish section. Wow, look at that. There used to be a piranha in here, but he died a few years ago. Wish you guys could have seen that. That was really cool. Wow, look at that. Look at all these fish. Oh my, is that a chameleon? Wow. Wow, look at this. Look at all these. Yeah, that's where I got my goldfish from my pond. I got from that big all the way up to like like that big in just a month or two. Whoa, glowfish. Those are, those are dope. Yeah, this is where all the aquatic plants are uh, for the ones that aren't very big. Yeah, we might have to grab a few of these aquatic plants. Oh, red tail catfish. Oh, why do I want him so much? I might have to submit and get that catfish because he looks. Wow. Man, what a fish. Alright, I made up my mind. I'm gonna grab one of those guys. And over here, I'm gonna grab one of those guys. For the pond, because they're both cold water fish and they look really cool. Pellets for uh, And I also got in the bag, I got my loaches. I got um, weather loaches. They have like a barometer built into them so they can tell when storms are coming. I got two of them. They'll get 14 inches long, which is great for the pond and they'll eat right out of your hand. Of course. All right, we're almost home. The fish seem to be doing pretty good. Let's just try and get there. All right, we have arrived at the house, and I don't know how I'm gonna carry the GoPro, the cat food, and the fish all at the same time, so wish me luck, I guess. Kinda like, so these guys are kinda like catfish, Except they uh, don't really have whiskers. They have little tiny whiskers, but not big ones. And they live middle of the water column. But other than that, they're scavengers. They don't have very good eyesight, but they'll eat right out of your hand. And they get 14 inches long, which is really cool. I've arrived at the pond. the fish first I have to acclimate them because I can't just like drop them straight into the pond because they would uh, I, I don't know they would they wouldn't do too well four names for the fish I'm thinking of calling them ocean and moon and if you watched a certain TV show you'll know why yeah but they're really pretty I got one black one and one white one the GoPro probably can't see this pretty well because it's very late at night. Well, it's not very late at night. It's like 8 o'clock. Stupid winter. Um, but the, the fish are still acclimating. I'm pretty sure I got all the cat food out. Okay. Fish. Into the pond. See you later, buddy. Come on, fish. Alright, there they go. Into the pond. Go. It is the next day and I'm gonna go check on the loaches now because I mean I hope they're doing well but I just want to make sure that nothing happened to them. Yeah I've been here for a little while. Looks like some of the food's gone but I haven't been able to see any of the loaches but it's okay. The water's just kind of murky right now uh, because I did a lot of work on the pond so the pond got a bit dirty but in a few days it'll clear up and that'll be shown in the next pond video. This has been CJ Fishing 1000. Thank you for watching and 
Have a great day, I guess. All right.